right? That's what we defined it in the first slide as the associative relationship between two variables. Associative in the sense correlated relationship. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Parameters of regression. R correlation coefficient, this we already know. R square coefficient of determination, I just now mentioned to you, that is called the least square. Least square method we use based on R square. Yeah? Yes. So just, just go through it, just, just read what is written. We will actually see each of these terms when we solve the problem. Okay, when we make an analysis, you will get all these terms. Just read this so that you have some kind of context when we solve those problems. Okay? Coefficient of determination indicates how much the variance of the dependent variable can be explained by the independent variable. Okay, I said both of them are related. Great. But by how much is it related? For one unit of change of x, how much is y changing? That is explained by us. And there I have said the value has to be more than 50%. If there is more, if the value is more than 50 percent, that means there is significant relationship between both of them and this can significantly predict the other. Otherwise, it is just a chance correlation and as such, the change in, in one is not bringing about a significant change in the other. Okay? We have uh, chi-square. Have we finished chi-square? Chi what all have we finished till now? T test. Okay. T test. T test. T test. T test. T test. That's all. And we saw SPSS. What is SPSS? How to do T tests? How to, you know, add the data and transfer it, export and import. So we have only seen validity. Yes, sir. Validity only we have seen. Sample validity we have seen below. What about other things? Parametric test, non-parametric test? I thought that was over. Right? Measurement and scale sauce. Measurement and scale sauce. But the only part, explanation part is done. Not specifically, a chi-square test should be done to be done like this. Not uh, with and sand back test should be like this. Okay. Theory part of chi-square is done? No, sir. Theory part of chi-square is also not done. But last time you told me parametric, non-parametric is over. They gave us a table where what tests to be performed for parametric, what are the non-parametric tests? Not and specifically on particular test, uh, not like. Okay. Yeah, okay. It's a, it's a big challenge for me. Okay. Basically, chi-square test is a goodness of fit test. That we do we know? Yeah. That is what this is. <laughs> More than that, I can't do it. Adjusted R square. Adjuster R square becomes important when it is multiple regression. Okay? So when there are more number of independent variables, since there will be some kind of interaction between them, we adjust the R square. See, R square is bringing about influence of each of the independent variable on the dependent. Yeah? Let me draw it. Also, 
correlation between amount and dependence. Because of the correlation among dependence. What? Not directly. These are not correlated. Not directly, but in relation to dependence. What I am trying to say is that, see, these are already correlated. <coughs> if they are correlated, they will be written. Okay, so that's a given already. So, but what am I saying is that, I am saying the influence of this is this much x. But it could be that this x is because, 20% of this x is because of the interaction of this also. It could be, there is a chance. Right? And that's why I am adjusting my R square. Which means, if it is a simple linear regression, R square is, adjusted R square is not important. Yeah. Standard error. This is the standard deviation of B. B is our slope. It's the standard deviation of B. What does that mean? It is the standard deviation of my residuals. That's what it means. Yeah? Residual is, we already discussed this, the distance between the predicted value and your observed value. So far, are we clear in these terms? Yes. Anybody requires a little more explanation in any, any one of this? Okay. Somebody, okay, I need my reference point. Oh, ma'am, you're there. You just came or something like that. You're not there in the start. I didn't know whom to ask the question. No. Uh, is it clear? Is that clear? Yeah. Can we solve a problem or do you want a break? If I solve a problem, it will take some time. Okay. Can I just finish the assumptions on the other and then do the problem? Yeah. First, linear relationship has to be assumed. Linear relationship. That means my data is normally distributed. For non-linear uh, non distributed data, you cannot use this regression. You have to use another type of regression, which is called ordinal regression. Again, we are not going to talk about it today. That's what I said. Regression is actually a vast topic. It's a very interesting topic, actually. Sir, sir, told to extend the base of this problem, you need it. And all of us See, the only problem is I'm traveling to Punjab for another lecture. I'm leaving on Sunday. So that's the that's the reason why they have pushed up my class also. That's why you had you had correlation before, two days before. Otherwise the session was supposed to be correlation regression standard. You see. I'm leaving on, on Sunday, that's why I can't be okay. Okay. First assumption, linear relationship. Between your dependent and independent variables, it has to be normally distributed for my simple linear regression or even linear multiple regression. Right? If it is not, then what do I do? Log. Principal component in analysis, anybody? Principal component analysis. Uh, latent root regression. Ridge regression. Oh, fine. This is just for your academic, academic interest. When the data is not non-normal, you use these type of regressions. That is principal component analysis you use to convert non-normal data into normal data. Right? Or if you want to use the non-normal data as it is, you have to use ridge regression. Write down this, you can probably uh, you know, research it later. Or latent root regression. Sir, one second. Ridge, ridge regression. R-I-D-G-E. Ridge regression. Or latent, L-A-T-E-N-T, root, R-O-O-T, regression. Normal. Yeah, when your data is not normally distributed. Normal. Okay. See, it's, it's as simple as this. You have seen the diagram, right? This is 
is my data. Okay? This line will come only if it is normally distributed. If it is a curve, this is my data. Let's say like this. I can't use y is equal to a plus bx. That is the meaning of that. That is the meaning of normal distribution. That is my first assumption. Second assumption, error component epsilon should be normally distributed. Right? So even my error should be normally distributed. They should be multi, they should not be multicollinearity. Anybody heard of multicollinearity? Yeah, what? <laughs> <laughs> Why was <laughs> <laughs> Exactly correct. So when there is correlation between the independent variables, yeah, when there is correlation between the independent variables, that's why when you said between the independent variables, is this adjusted R square? I said no, this is not adjusted R square. Right? That is multicollinearity. Right? So there should not be multicollinearity. They should the independent variables should not be correlated. If both of them are correlated, then the values that you are getting are not correct. 